Shalom. It's your brother Malcolm. We're coming at you with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Shai. You know, double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations unto all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Now more so than ever, to the confusion of faith, join unto our ranks, to the hopefully elect. To the Yaquaf that are listening and learning, to you I say Shalom. Uh, this is a video from RT, and it's uh, titled USINF Withdrawal Prompting New World Order. And see, in times past, not that long ago, you were looked at like you were crazy for saying that. But now it's every president since uh, Daddy Bush has said that in a speech from Clinton to both Bushes all the way up until now. Every president has said it. Even the Pope has said it recently. And what you're going to see is in this video is the nations are fed up and tired of Esau. Esau is being made bare. All right. Um, and this is Mike Pence. And uh, this is a rather embarrassing moment for him, his president, and the West the the reaction he gets from the other nations. I know the president of Bolivia has just put Donald Trump straight on blast and anyone who supports them and any nation that supports him at these uh at these meetings. Okay? But uh without any further ado, let's let's get into some scriptures. Alright? And this isn't gonna be a long video. It's it's just gonna be straight to the point. Um I'm going to read in Isaiah, the 14th chapter, verses 9 through 11. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and read the 16. I think I may have read this the other day uh, doing a live show. I had another brother read it, but it's so fitting to what's happening. All right. And it reads, Hell from beneath is moved to meet thee at thy coming, to stir it stir up of the dead for thee, even all the chiefs chief ones of the earth it have raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations so these other nations all these kings of these other nations chiefs of the other places are now looking sideways at america and raising up against them all right and the lord is going to bring in hellish conditions i mean stores continue to to close economies continue to fail america's being put on blast for all this wickedness is this in this medical industry and in the medicine that you know pharmaceuticals the uh you know human trafficking body parts being sold children uh being being sold and, and, and pedophilia running rampant from from the president from the highest uh, offices all the way down to to the uh to the churches all this you know especially the catholic church was a worldwide church but it's just so much happening in america you know mass shootings like every 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 week you know, mostly done by red Hebrew Edomites like the one on the screen. All right, verse 10. And they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become as weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Because all these other nations are armed and ready for battle. Okay? You, you know, you don't need a hundred nukes. If you got one nuke, now you have a voice and a place at the table. Because you're a threat. OK, and all these other nations are now armed and ready. See, America can't just throw its, its weight around and, and, and use scare tactics and bully tactics just to get what it wants. Not because it's right or, 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 or they're trying to help free a people or bring democracy. It's because they want your damn oil, whatever resource that you have that they need. Verse 11, thy pump is brought down to the grave. And the noise of thy vows, the worm is spread under thee and worms cover thee. And their, their pump is arrogant. It's being brought down. Now it's shame faced. They got to make videos and put up signs and whole classes to say, to tell uh, uh, Edomite students, red Hebrew Edomite students, that it's okay to be white when they're not white. His shirt is white and the skin doesn't match his shirt. All right? He's a reddish pink color because his blood shows forth through his skin. He's a red Hebrew Edomite. Subject matter is the wicked 
and is Edom. And here it says, verse 12, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Which simply means enlightened, because they've been to the enlightened ones with their high IQ. But look at the water, the air, and the food quality with their high IQs. Look at the, at the, at the average American family with their high IQs. With feminism, LBGT, homosexuality on the right, families destroyed with all the policy, the child support, divorce laws. Removing the man from the house. Claiming to be a biblical society, but yet swearing in on the Bible, but not obeying anything in it. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into the heaven and will exalt my throne above the stars of power. And I will sit upon the mount of the congregations in the side of the north. All right. It says, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds and I will be like the most high. Who set themselves up to be like the most high? These people right here, Mike Pence's people. He and his people. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. They that see thee, shall, and this is talking about Lucifer, shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man? Lucifer is a man, men, people. They are the red Hebrew Edomites. Is this the man that made the earth to tremble and did shake kingdoms? at the Munich Security Conference when VP Mike Pence delivered a greeting from President Trump. He paused for applause, but the room remained silent. I bring greetings from the 45th President of the United States of America, President Donald Trump. All right, that echoing the, the sentiment from the U.S. European allies as they have grown increasingly unhappy with America's foreign policies, especially concerning the U.S. withdrawal from the INF Treaty, the Paris Climate Accord, and the JCPOA, better known as the Iran nuclear deal. So joining us now to discuss America's growing unpopularity, former Pentagon official Michael Malouf. All right, Mike, mm -hmm. a, a major topic on the minds of <clears throat> European allies this weekend was the INF Treaty. Uh, as we know, Trump says we're out citing Russia's non-compliance with a, a missile that actually just falls short of the parameters uh, of the treaty. Uh, they're calling for methods to try to save it. Is there a way to save this? No. Um, That's all, folks. All right. <laughs> no. In fact, when you look at it, all the treaties so far that, that uh, the Trump administration has pulled out, it's been at the instigation of, of, of John Bolton. There are no treaties, uh, particularly for, for reductions or re reduction in arms, that he likes. And this, there's a history of this with this neoconservative uh, element that uh, is now running Trump administration foreign policy. And that's why the INF uh, we, we will, uh, will uh, go down in flames, even though the Europeans want it. Uh, they, want to, they want to maintain it. Yeah, we could expand upon it, but that's not in the interest of John Bolton or even uh, Donald Trump, who doesn't know anybody, he's only listening to John Bolton. And, but, but, uh, but Bolton clearly is in charge of the foreign policy, and that's the way he's guiding it in his own image and likeness. And this is... And see, listening to John Bolton for Donald Trump is kind of how Rehoboam listened to his homeboys instead of the wise counsel from the old men who worked for King Solomon, who, who, were, who, were, who served on, on council with the wisest man that had ever lived. But Donald Trump keeps listening to this to, to this clown, this Uncle Pico's nephew Crambone dude, John Bolton. All right. And basically, he's right. It is all going to go down in flames. Babylon is going to go down in flames. Call halal yim halbashin al shai ba shemukar wa abad babal.